Hi, welcome to another Henderson Libraries Home Edition. So today for our preschool party, we're going to be doing dinosaur activities. We have a lot of fun ones for you today. We hope you enjoy them. So for our first dinosaur art project today, we're actually going to be inspired by a real famous artist. His name is Henry Matisse, and he's known for cutting paper which I think is really fun. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna to make a Henry Matisse inspired dinosaur picture. So if you got one of our kits, you should have gotten some scrap paper, should have gotten a white piece of paper, and you should have gotten some dinosaur cutouts. You're also gonna need a glue stick and some of your scissors. So make sure you practice good scissor usage. You wanna make sure you have your thumb at the top facing you, so that way you can make really good cuts. So, I want to make two things for my Matisse-inspired dinosaur picture. The first thing I want to make is a tree. So I'm going to take this. This would be a good tree trunk color, I think. So that's an easy shape. I just need to make a rectangle. There we go. And I'm going to take my tree, whoop, put a little glue on it, and I'm going to stick it kind of over here in the corner. We're going to hold and count for a couple seconds. One, two, three. Now, we need to make the top of the tree. Green's definitely the best color for that. So for this, it doesn't really have a good shape. So you have to make the best shape you can. I'm going to kind of make a squiggly thing. I think dinosaurs need a good squiggly tree. So here's one set of leaves. Oops, need more glue. Mm, but that's not a very good tree. Let's make another one. I'm gonna make another squiggle. This one's gonna be a little different than that one. Get my glue on it. That one's gonna go kind of this way. I still think it needs more. So let's do one more really good squiggle. I'm gonna have this one be an even bigger squiggle. There we go. Get our glue on it. There we go. Now that looks like a tree. So the next part I wanna do, I want to make a volcano. So I don't need that green and that brown anymore. I'm gonna get this brown and I'm gonna make a volcano shape, which to me, it's kind of like a triangle that's missing its top. So let's make a triangle shape. That's kind of a triangle, huh? And then we're gonna cut off the top a little bit. I think that'll be a good volcano. Then, we're gonna glue that guy down. I'm gonna put him way up top though. All right. But that just looks like a rock. I need to make this look like a volcano. So I'm gonna get my red paper and we're gonna make some lava. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna cut out a couple of strips of paper. So there's a strip. There's a strip. Well, let's make a really big one. There we go. So I'm gonna take my first one and I'm gonna put it right down the middle of my volcano. So it looks like the lava's coming down. But I also want it to explode with lava. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm going to put them up top, I'm gonna hide the tops behind the volcano. And it sticks out above my paper. So now it looks like lava's going everywhere. <gasps> so that looks pretty good. But I think we need to add our dinosaurs now. So let's take our T-Rex. I'm gonna put him over by the volcano. Whoops, got a little glue on him. That should dry. I think 
my brontosaurus wants to be eating some of the leaves in the tree. So let's put him over here. I think my stegosaurus wants to hang out over here by his friend. They're buddies. And because I want to make it look really cool, I'm going to take my triceratops and I have a triceratops skeleton. I'm going to take this sticker and put it right on top of him. So now I have a Matisse inspired dinosaur picture. I hope you guys had fun doing that. Let's go do something else now. Hello everyone. Welcome to our yoga break for this preschool party, for this yoga dinosaur preschool party time. So in your kit that you could pick up at any of the Henderson Library's locations, you should have these two sheets. And they are little coloring pages with prehistoric creatures on them. And the name of the creature and the name of the pose we're doing. Feel free to color in the dinosaurs however you want. What do you think they looked like? What do you think that they do and how they move around? You could even color in the background for how you think their home was. Where do you think they lived? Parents, as we go through this, what you're going to want to do is help your child cut each one out as a little card for a game. And then when we are reading the cards, go ahead and point. So for example, this guy, he's kind of funny, right? He is a Spinosaurus, so point to Spinosaurus. And then we are going to do the cat-cow pose. So once again, there's the image. Spinosaurus, cat-cow pose. Are you ready? Go ahead and pause the video and cut everything out and color it however you want. Mine are just black and white and that's okay too. When you're all done with that, come back and what we're going to do is we're going to lay them either on our yoga mat or on the floor in front of us and we're going to mix them around. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, I've mixed them around. I'll place them in front of me, and I'm gonna pick a random one, ready? Ooh. <gasps> oh, I got the Tyrannosaurus Rex and Lion's Breath. So Lion's Breath is a yoga pose where we focus on how our breathing feels. Go ahead and sit however you want. You can sit like me on your legs, or you can sit crisscross applesauce. And when you're ready, we're gonna take a big breath in, and then when we breathe out, we're gonna stick our tongues out as wide as we can, like ah, and we're gonna go ah. Ready? Big breath in, tongues out, ah. We'll do that again, ready? Big breath in, tongues out, put your claws up, ah. <laughs> That's a funny noise, huh? So, now that we've done lion's breath, can we do Tyrannosaurus Rex breath? Let's see, he has his little arms up like this. Has his arms up like this, and he roars. So we'll do that one more time, but instead of going <sighs> roar. Are you ready? Big breath in. Tongue out. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Are you ready for our next dinosaur? Let's mix, 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 and pick one. I got the ichthyosaur. So ichthyosaur and cobra pose is what we're doing. Did you know that the ichthyosaur is our state fossil? It's the state fossil of Nevada, which is where we live. All right. so. For the ichthyosaur, we're going to do cobra pose. Go ahead and lay down on your belly. We're going to lay down, put your hands underneath your shoulders, take a big breath in, and push up. Go ahead and look up, kind of look around, pretend like you're an ichthyosaur swimming and wiggling around, and come back down. 
Go ahead and breathe in, push up. Wiggle, 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 and breathe out, come back down. So that's Cobra Pose for the Ichthyosaur. Okay, ready for the next one? Mix, 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 and I got the Raptor. The Raptor runs really fast. So, Raptor, and then what we're gonna be doing are high knees. Okay, go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and stand up. All right, ready? High knees, go ahead. You can do raptor arms if you want, and go, 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 go. High knees, try and get your knees all the way up to where your tummy is. Go, 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 and stop. Good job, so that's the raptor. Ready to go to our next prehistoric animal? Oh, and do you know what prehist prehistoric means? It means that it's really, really, really old. It means that it's before we had written history. Pre, meaning before. Historic, meaning history. Like almost before history itself. Isn't that crazy? Okay, ready? And mix, 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 mix. Brachiosaurus. Look, and the Brachiosaurus has that long neck. Brachiosaurus, and we're gonna do volcano pose. All right, let's go ahead and get ready to stand up again. All right, stand up. Super tall, pretend like a string is pulling you up towards the ceiling. Reach your arms all the way up, 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 up. Now, the Brachiosaurus has a super long neck so it can grab leaves and other foliage. So go ahead and grab, grab, and stretch up one more time, big breath in. <sighs> one more. <sighs> Good job. Looks like we have four more cards left. Let's see. Mix, 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 mix. What do you think is gonna be next? Do you have a favorite dinosaur? Okay. I have the Ankylosaurus. Do you see that? Ankylosaurus, three-legged dog pose. All right, that's kind of a silly pose name. So the three-legged dog pose is a, is a different way of doing the downward dog pose, if you've done that one before. We'll go ahead and we'll start on our hands and knees, and then we'll push up all the way up and we'll lift one leg up. That kind of looks like the tail on the Ankylosaurus, right? All right, go ahead and put that leg down. Lift up the other leg. You can wiggle it around if you want. It's the, uh, it's the tail again. And put your leg down. Good job, you guys. Three more left, ready? Mix, 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 mix. The Triceratops. All right, Triceratops, let's see. Right here it says Triceratops and it says forward fold walk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our little legs by bending down, here I'll do it sideways so you can see. Bending down, flat back as long as you can and then fold over. Grab your ankles and walk, walk, walk. Do you feel like a dinosaur? Walking around, looking for food. <laughs> All right, go ahead and come back down. Are you ready to do our last two cards? Which one should we do next? This one or this one? Which one? Oh, this one. This one is the pterodactyl. See how it flies? Pterodactyl, and we'll do warrior pose three. Okay. Let's go ahead, stand up, and I would grab a chair or the hold your hand on the wall for this one, or maybe a parent or a grandparent, babysitter. You're gonna plant one foot and firmly push it into the ground, and slowly lift up your back foot. And if you feel good doing this, you can stretch your arms out like you're flying around like a pterodactyl. Ready, big breath in. 
Let's try the other leg. Ready? Plant that other foot into the ground. Slowly stretch your leg back. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and stick your arm out, arm out like you're flying around. Ready? Good job. All right. Are you ready for the last card? Let's see what it is. Spinosaurus. Oh, this is a good one. So for the Spinosaurus, we'll do cat-cow pose. Go ahead and go ahead and um, get to your hands and your knees into tabletop position because my body looks like a table. And then when we're ready, we'll do cow where your belly sinks down and you look up. Big breath in. And then cat, we're going to arch our back like a cat and go hiss. Like that. And see how we look like a Spinosaurus with the curved back? All right, back down. Belly long, like a puppy. Big breath in. Good job. So that's all our dinosaur poses for today. Feel free to keep playing this game as much as you want. You just mix up the cards and then choose one. Pterodactyl. And then you do the pose. All right, I hope you guys are having a great start to year year. I'm sending you all of my happiness and positivity. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. So for our math activity today, you're going to need a marker or a crayon. You're going to need our 10-frame counting sheet. And you're going to need your egg that has your leaves in it. So these should have the numbers. One, two three, four, and five already written on there for you. What you're going to do next is, parents, we might need some help. You're going to pick two of the numbers in secret for your kids and hide them in the egg. Kids, your job is to open the egg and find out what that number is. So we have for mine, a two and a one. So in order to do our 10 frame, I'm gonna take this two and I'm gonna count out two squares. One, two. Now I have one more. So I'm gonna count out one more square. So two plus one is one two, three. So you can write it down here if you want to practice your writing. So I have a two plus one is equal to three. I have three squares up top. If you want to practice your numbers, I have them written down here. So you're going to follow along and trace the lines as best you can to try to make the numbers. So I have one, two, three, four, five. So you can do this as many times as you want and practice your good addition skills. Parents, you can help them do any levels of this you feel comfortable with. They can help count out. They can help color. If you want to have them practice their handwriting, go for it. If not, at least doing the coloring of the squares is a really good exercise for their motor function skills. All right. So for our last art activity, we're going to make a tie-dye egg explosion. So you'll need your foam egg. You're going to need the cutout of the big dinosaur. You're going to need some markers. And it does help to have a little bit of tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I'm going to curl it into a circle and put it on my dinosaur. This is going to help my dinosaur stay in place a little bit better when I put it right in the middle of my egg. So now your dinosaur shouldn't move around too much. And that'll be helpful when we're trying to make our design. So next, you're going to want to pick one color of marker. We're going to start there. And starting from the dinosaur, the dinosaur is going to get a little messy right now. I want you to go and just make lines going out. You're going to do this all the way around the dinosaur. 
It's okay, your lines don't have to be the same size. You can make them bigger or smaller. They can be a little bit messy. Oopsie, I even messed up a little there and that's okay because my dinosaur stayed put. We're gonna be working on our patience with this one a little bit because this does take a couple of times going around the dinosaur. Ah! You always wanna start from the inside part with the dinosaur. So you don't wanna go outside in. You wanna start in the dinosaur and go out. But once I've gone all the way around the circle once, I'm gonna pick a different color. So I used blue first. I'm gonna put that to the side. And now I'm gonna use orange. So I'm not gonna start at the dinosaur this time. I'm gonna start on the blue. I'm gonna start with the blue. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go out, 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 out. Using my orange marker, I'm exploding out. I only have a little bit right there to do. But let's see, here we go. Orange, 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 orange. I'm almost all the way around my dinosaur. Here's where you can get a little more color-y. I don't have to explode out as much. Sometimes it'll take a little bit of the smear so that means it's gonna grab a little bit of the color before it and go out. That's okay, we kind of want it to do that today. So I went all the way around. I wanna get that color off, so I'm gonna use my dinosaur and just kinda of rub it out. There we go, so now it's a little less in my marker. So I used blue and orange. Let's pick a different color. Let's do green now. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with my orange and I'm gonna go out with an explosion of green. If you run out of room, that's okay. You're gonna go, I don't need to do it here, but I need to come back on this side. So now we're gonna come back and I have a little bit of my green. Oh, there's a little bit. It gets a little harder towards the end. So you're gonna have to be careful as you go. But here we go. Oh. I think I have room for one more color in a couple of spots. So when we finish up with the green, what color do you think we should do? I've done blue, I've done orange, and now I've done green. Now I'm gonna need one more color. What's a good color do you think? Hmm, let's look through my bag. I think I wanna do purple. I think that's a good way to end it. So we're gonna take our purple, and anything that's left at the end of the egg is gonna get colored purple. So I have here, so same deal, I don't have any space here, so I'm gonna turn my egg around. We're gonna color the little bit I have on the bottom here. Oh, I got a little bit of green on there. So now it's time for the big reveal. I have my dinosaur, I've made my tie-dye explosion. Now you're gonna take this, pull the tape up, and you should have a tie-dye dinosaur egg. Great job, guys. Thanks so much for doing that today.